someone showed me some stuff from um, China that I thought was really cool. So obviously, as, as you know, in China, there is no copyright law. It, it does not translate into Mandarin, as the saying goes. So people kind of just make whatever the f they want, regardless of what copyright might involve. And it's resulted in some actually really interesting merch that I wish was like legitimately available. I'm going to show you guys some examples of it. Like, have a look at some of this stuff. So we've got Prince Dream and Bloodsport phone cases. Like, how cool are these? Like, these are great, aren't they? There's more. There's an Empress and a Cortex one. And I might mention also, the Chinese guy that's made this, he is not censored that skull. And the, the official Chinese version of these, it looks like Groot. This one does not look like Groot. And again, this is just a, a flagrant violation of other people's copyrights, but obviously not a problem in China. And again, wouldn't it be great if this was like legitimate merchandise sold with the game? But don't worry, we're not even close to being done. There are CSGO trading cards. Like again, how f***ing awesome are these? I'd buy these. If I was going to have some trading cards, may as well get ones like this. There's also themed mouse pads. This is a print stream mouse pad. There may well be like a legitimate version of this out there somewhere. I, I, I don't know. Perhaps the artist who made it does have like merch like this. I know some skin artists do do that, but uh, this should be being sold like, you know, potentially in like a window in CSGO. They should have, they should have a window in CSGO where they sell merchandise like this. There's also, you know, keyboards, mice with the same thing. But look at some of the buttons. It's got like, that's one, that's two. They've got hearts there. This one maybe is a little bit impractical for anyone who's not experience with using a keyboard we got blood sport themed ones too like it's got like the the blood sport cat there we've got csgo guns for the like, tab caps lock and shift there's so much detail the kiss love apparently is quite a popular one like they should add more kiss love skins to the game this could be like a whole a whole meme people love shit like this and like if they're selling merch it would sell like crazy let's let's be real there's um this is a pink print stream one so i've seen that already uh more themed mice Two print stream ones, one blind sport one. We've got gold signatures. Uh, these are Berlin ones. This must be a fairly old example. Gold signatures on a mouse mat. We've also got an official simple set of headphones. There must actually be um, non-counterfeit versions. I'm sure there'd be simple headphones out there somewhere. But I've also got some links to a place where you can buy these things too. How Bayo, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it exactly. Now apparently the saying in China is that if it exists you can buy it on Taobao or if you can think of it you can buy it there or something like that and that sounds about accurate to me. If, like these exist, you can buy them, someone's made like their own line of essentially like pop finals for CSGO. Oh there's a promo video. Look at this. Okay this is definitely official if there's a promo video. Those faces are so funny. <laughs> Holy shit. They do look like minions, don't they? Uh, these, these are the cards we saw earlier. That is official merch. Is it? Is it official a Perfect World merch? For real? It's obviously not widely available outside of China, if it is. A nightlight based around Sinful's autograph. This one, this one's a little bit more, a little bit more out there. I just gotta say, it's a bit more random. But you can see all this extra stuff down here, you know, you got Titan stickers, even more phone covers. We've got a different Empress one, a Titan one, an Asimov one. It's official Perfect World merch. Why don't they make it available in the rest of the world? Because people would buy that. Oh, uh, we got necklaces, key tags, whatever, dog tags, I think, whatever they're called. Even more dog tags, stuff like this. So here we've got, you know, basically custom made CSGO artwork being sold on a, a sweater. I don't think that's actually in the game. I think it's like a design. They've probably pinched them somewhere. It's got the how background, but still. They've got a, a CSGO umbrella. It's, it's got a fancy... He's got a, um, he's got a fancy movie promoting it. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> Who wouldn't want an umbrella that looks like that? The only problem with an umbrella like that is people would probably try and steal it off you. Like, how cool does that look? And like, it's not some lazy knockoff. Like, it's themed. 
like he's got like the the weapons with the prices like whoever's done this has put effort into it it's like legitimately creative there's legitimate effort involved in it it says official peripheral I don't know if that means that it is an actual Valve Mate product available only in China. It says they're perfect or genuine. So I don't know if this means that they're official merchandise or not, but either way, basically you got like pendants, little soft pendants based around CSGO knives. These are crazy. I like the skeleton one. The skeleton one's really cool. Though the color does look a little bit like a urine. Oh, and I got the, the chick with it. <laughs> Just using the knife in the car. Oh, by the way, hold on. We got to check this. We got to check this. Uh, <laughs> look at this. this. There is no way this is official. They've stolen G2's artwork and they've got like an anime girl with CSGO stuff on it. Hold on. Can we look at some of the other examples too? Oh my God. There's one for each. <laughs> There's a wife with a Navi for the how. She's a cat girl. She's a cat girl for the how. <laughs> this is the Neon Rider artwork. I don't think this is official, is it? There's no way. I think by official, maybe they're referring to logistics or something. This might be a Chinese knockoff of the official version though. Again, massive untapped potential. Like they should be selling like limited edition series of pop finals in CSGO at all times. People would buy them.